the Tigers will receive and back down deep for a couple of real speed merchants for the LSU team. Number six on the near side. And for the Tigers, that is Tony Moss. He did the same job last week. And on the other side, the Tigers have Eddie Fuller. Moss is from Bossier City. Eddie Fuller is from Leesville. Kicking off for the men from the Mid-American Conference, Gary Gutman. Here's Moss to the 25 or so. But against this offensive line, which controlled the line of scrimmage last week, I think that this Mid-American team is going to have to really take chances and gamble defensively. And those wide receivers for LSU, particularly Wendell Davis, with an outstanding week last night, he hopes to repeat this evening. Garland John Baptiste is the tailback. Hudson gives to him. Baptiste is open. Has eight yards. And John, that's a defense that returns nine starters from last year and fully expected to be an outstanding defensive team. As a matter of fact, after their first game, thought they were a great defensive team. They've got some good players. Side judge Tommy McElroy. The other fellows are Pete Owens, George Reniger, and Don Shanks. That's Sammy Martin up to the 41-yard line of a right guard. Martin and John Baptiste. Hudson to the air on first down. was out there. But Sammy Martin came to the right and Baptiste stayed in and blocked. Second and ten from the 41. Forward handoff. There's Sammy. Close for the first down. And first name Ronnie. Tigers looking for the first down and I'm not sure they got that. Standing at his 11. ball kick back to the 14 yard line on a fair catch and it picks up moisture very quickly it's going to affect the passing game particularly Terry Morris here is a fine thrower but when you throw the wet ball it's so much different than a dry football there goes Swarn to the outside 10 yards about and Rehage does not get him down but he had to get performance from his offensive line and here's the starting offensive line right here now Ripple the big man weighs 290 Marhofer is the split in. Swarn is the tailback, and there's Morris. Out of junior college, in 1984, he was the leading passer among all of the nation's junior colleges from El Cajon in California. He'll go to the air on first down. Swarn, tackled by Jefferson. Uh, he really is going to test the LSU defense. The second down play from the Miami 27. Draw play. He got seven yards carrying the ball. But he is the leading ball carrier for this team. But he is facing a tough Tiger defensive team. And you see that Sancho is starting at outside linebacker. Thomas over the center. Who is Sean Riley, number 60. And a fake to the running back. And a long pass down the way. Incomplete, almost intercepted by Chris Carrier. At first appeared he didn't have a chance at the ball, but he almost carried it in. The punt by Colasar to Jefferson. He slips and the Tigers first and ten from their 38 on the near inbound line, and Hudson slips as he rifles one complete to the 41-yard line. Second and eight from the 40-yard line. Nothing, nothing early in the first quarter at Tiger Stadium. It's raining here. Harvey Williams. He excites me. Or apparently very little effort. And that's not to demean the efforts and the, the talent of Sammy Martin as uh, a quarterback sneak is called by the Tigers and Hudson picks up the first down. LSU with the wide side of the field and the Tigers left. Nothing, nothing. John Baptiste and uh, Sammy Martin has the ball. Wouldn't have gotten very much anyway. There's Hudson. He'll throw on second down. Look out. Incomplete. Fine effort by Sammy Martin. We're not supposed to be in the same place either, which is one reason why there's, there's such a congregation of defensive and offensive people back there. Luckily, it was not intercepted. Third down, about six. Hotson with a lot of time. Again, intercepted this time. Oh, they don't get it. Arthur down the field waiting for the Frank kick. It's blocked. And the man who blocks that kick 
comes roaring through there and does a great job for Miami. DeFrank having a difficult time getting the ball off quickly the first two times he has kicked. Morris to the air on first from the Tiger 39. Open! It's going to be a touchdown for Miami and the Redskins jump out in front. Six to nothing. A 39-yard play. And the goal and point after kicker for Miami, Gary Gusman. Kicks his 12. And that point gives seven to Miami and the Tigers are still looking to atone for the mistake on the block punt. They've made a couple of very, very big plays, and they've ended up with a seven-point lead. Gusman kicks off. The Tigers receive, and that's Moss from the three. Tony's down at the 24. Here's Rodney McGee. Hudson, a long count. Sammy Martin has the ball behind Norwood. First down. Tigers with another offensive look. An eye with a slot right. Three-man front. One touchdown doesn't mean anything, and uh, they perhaps learned a lesson last week. Miami's one and one after beating Ball State in the opening game, and that's uh, Harvey Williams receiving. To the right, Tony Moss. Both going deep. Hudson rifles to a shorter man. And that's Williams for a first down at about the 47 or 8 yard line. I'm sure the coaches want to see if he's got the capability to take the beating and hold on to the football. From the 48, Williams will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 12. Hudson to throw for the Tigers. Complete. And tackling Jeff Anderson. Puts him in a situation where they've got a makeable first down. Third and about six. Third and six play. Possession down. Hobson throws in. Over throws. Just blocked him at the Frank punt. Gets a beautiful kick away this time. To the end zone. We're delighted to make this announcement today. Morris. Chased by Sancho. Got him. Out of bounds at the 14-yard line. Good defensive play. Mar Harper and Schillinger are wide to the left. Morris off to Swarn. Down he goes with Brooks doing the director of athletics, Bob Broadhead, uh, in an adroit move through the permission for us to carry the game on our select event network. Swarn doesn't get past the line of scrimmage by more than a yard, if that. The 12-yard line, quick snap back to Colasar. Gets a quick kick away, and to the 50-yard line. Here comes Jefferson, just his meat. Stops at the 27-yard line. We have a flag on the play, however. Got the 47-yard line, and take away of that 20 or 30 yards. First down, the Tigers at their 47. LSU going with Mickey Harris and Garland John Batiste in that fullback spot. And going in this case to Sammy Martin. You see what I mean? Running 165 pounds. Very important timing uh, by a running back, particularly someone with Sammy's quickness, but also his lack of size. Fumble on the snap and a scramble for the ball. Miami has the ball at the line of scrimmage, which is the Redskin 41-yard line. Jeff Anderson falls on it. Miami leads 7-0. 2.14 to play in quarter number one. Here goes Terry Morris, number seven, back to throw. Spot pass, caught it on a hop, not good. In very congenial fashion. Schillinger in motion back toward the play. This is Morris. Overthrow Schillinger. I'll tell you about it in just a minute. Third down and 10. Miami at its 41 yard line and leading the Tigers of LSU seven to nothing. That one, first down. Miami at its opponent's 41-yard line. Ahead, 7-0. Schillinger in motion. Swan. Short game. Rehage and Hazard have it. It's been quite a couple of days. Second down, about seven. Little screen. That's the fullback with the ball. 
to the right are Marhofer and Arthur. Tillinger's off the field for the moment. Arthur comes in motion. And that is going to be a big run. Way out to the right. And the first quarter has ended, and Miami on the move and surprisingly strong. The score at the end of the period, Miami 7, LSU nothing. Don't know whether they're good or not, but they're not little for sure. This is the biggest team that LSU will play this year in the offensive line, and you can see Dalk at 240 pounds is pretty substantial. Second down from the six-yard line. Here goes Swarm. Stopped by Jefferson, but carries in for a first down. A total surprise, you can be sure, to the LSU coaching staff. Warren is set up to the right, has the ball, cuts in. He stops short of the goal line at the one. Miami is close to scoring after a recovered fumble. Leading 7-0. This is Graham. The pick to him and the pass to Warren is incomplete. Third down, goal to goal from the LSU one. Nicky Hazard and then by James Pearson, but has the momentum to hit the end zone. Miami leads LSU. This kick is good. The Tigers will be down by 14. And that is the case. 12.52 to go in the first half. Miami now leads LSU by a score of 14 to nothing. And Coach Archbark and his staff are now having to look for the formula to get the Tigers going. Turn crew would like to extend our condolences to the McGinnis family and their many friends. From the 13, Moss carries to the 24, and after a five-yard penalty against Miami, the Redskins will kick from their 30. This is Gusman to do it. That ball is going out of bounds. No, it isn't. Bounds to the nine-yard line. Got five yards. This is Harvey Williams. Maybe up to him in this game. Kentucky comes up on the LSU schedule in midseason at Lexington. But the Tigers have all they can handle right here. Harvey Williams again. Picking his spots out of bounds with Anderson. Now Miami leads LSU 14 0. Hobson to throw. Safe from the 42, first down and 10. Split backs, three-man line, pitch out to Williams. Good speed out there. Can't get to the outside. Well, let's look at that line of scrimmage right here on this play. Boy, Miami's really charging. Deep drop, screen pass, Williams fumble. Recovery by Miami. First down the Redskins inside the target 40. Dave Brown. And they got the Tigers uh, in a bad situation. From the LSU 38, Morris and company and a red skin eye. Swarm. Short game. Morris to throw. Flag. Hit Swarm. is down at the 34-yard line for a short game. Here comes Bill Dobbs holding against Miami. An 18 play, Tillinger in motion, back toward the play, and Morris will go to the air. Up the middle, intercepted by the Now that may be the impetus the Tigers need. Here is the Tigers cheering. See if they can make use of it. Now the Tigers from their 46 as Hudson goes to the air. Plenty of time, he's got kitchen.
Davis, 82, and Roger McGee, number 80. And there goes Sandy Martin in a slot. A little wingback slot to the right. Hudson to throw. McGee can't hold it. Incomplete, fourth down, and goal to go from the three. He has a fever, and he's 0-1 in this department this year, and he kicks. It is good. 40 to play in the half. LSU is on the board, and it's a 14 to 3 game. The Tigers are down by 11, and we'll be back in just a moment. Sick of this battle on a serious basis. Fine kickoff by Matt DeFrank. going to depend heavily on his defensive team the remaining part of the evening. There goes Swan. That's why after 13 he loses a yard. Morris to throw up the field. Complete out of bounds at the 35. Now the Redskins from their 35 with the first down. 14 to 3, the Redskins lead the Tigers. Draw play with Swan. Hit by Eric Hill. Very talented boy. He's been out a couple of years for injury. Second down, about six. Here's a pass up the field. Schillinger can't get it. He's overthrown, but he was less than four minutes to play in the first half, and the Redskins have the ball. Six-point average uh, from the 20. Jefferson coming. Can he get around the corner? Not quite. 24-yard line, and he's off the field. Tommy Hudson, the quarterback. Harvey Williams is the ball carrier to the 27. But nothing in the middle so far. Hudson on second down. Throws complete. Wendell Davis has it out of bounds. First down. Block stop at 303 to go in the half. Hudson back. Watch this one. Davis again. Good ball. 35-yard line and Riley territory. A 28-yard play with any type of plays you'd like to run. Hudson to the air again. Looking for Davis again. Too high for him. He was open at the 25. Second and 10 from the 35. Hudson to throw. And he has Kinchin. Down to the 28-yard line. game last week. They tried it in the Double slot to the left. In fact, McGee is uh, in motion back towards the play. Hot to throw. How about that? Back at the 17-yard line by Dave Brown. Again, Hoss in motion. Here's Hobson back to throw from the pocket. Over and throw. Martin is in the game. Garland John Baptiste in the game in the backfield. And down under will throw. A lot of time. A lot of time. He stacks again at the 25 yard line. Here's a 42 yard field goal try by Ronnie Lewis with seven seconds to go in the half. On the way, and it's the upright and comes back, and the Tigers are disappointed for the second time. Going for Pater. And they've got six people deep in the secondary. Big half for Miami. LSU did not play with great enthusiasm. And LSU well, goes to the good dressing good. room down by 11 points in what should be classed as a huge surprise at this stage. The kickoff to start the second half. A short one. 
That is run back. Warren is still in there, and Schillinger in motion back toward the play. Graham is out blocking for the passer. Incomplete. And then Ronnie Lewis hit the upright at the end of the second quarter. It's 14 to 3. The Tigers trying to play catch up, and Miami has the ball. There's Swarm to the 30. Third down, eight to go. The Redskins at their 30, and the head of LSU by 11. but lose more yardage. Doug Colasar, an end over ender that's going to Jefferson at the Tiger 45. He's going the other way, going nowhere. Flag of the penalties of the infractions takes precedence. From the 29, the Tigers down by 11 and with the ball, Hudson has it to throw. Kenton has it to 10 yards plus. First down at the 42. Couple of rolls. But here, a play action pass on first down for successful completion and a first down. Sammy Martin picks up fairly short yardage. The Tigers set up uh, an eye with Jean Baptiste and Harvey Williams. And the team offside. No question about it. Coach Arnes Parker is ready to watch this play after running down to the merit list. Intended for Martin on a third down and 12. Hudson checking off again at the line of scrimmage. Kitchen again, not a first down, but he's at the 50 yard line with the ball. And Matt DeFrank is ready to punt. Jack Arthur lets it bounce, it's going to the end zone. Carrier just couldn't get to it in time. And the Tigers trying to battle back from an 11 point deficit. Hudson to the air again. Pump once. Shoots down there. Completes the Martin at the 15. He's down to about the five. Good play to Martin. First down goal to go for the Tigers at the five. Here's Harvey Williams at the four. The penalty was critical, wasn't it? Second down, goal to go from the four. McGee in motion. Hudson to the air. Incomplete. In fact, batted down behind the line of scrimmage. Gets an opportunity to have some distance between he and the defender. Third down, goal to go from the four. That is McGee. Can't get the ball again. Fourth down. Monty Lewis hit the... Upright in his last attempt at the end of the second quarter. He hits this one. And so with 9.57 to go in the third quarter, Miami's lead is a little less great at 14 to 6, but LSU is still down and still making the little mistakes that are really costly to the Tiger call. And as time goes on, it's starting to look that way. Frank kicks off to Arthur at the goal line. He's tripped up at the 20. Now the defensive team for LSU has his work cut out again. 14 to 6, Miami leads. Arthur to the air once more, way down the field. Look out! Complete! Look at the flag, he's going all the way, and that is Schillinger. John, that's going to be defensive pass interference, and he made the catch anyway. 82 yards altogether, and a touchdown. Here's Gary Gusman to try the point after, and it is good. 9.38 to play in the third quarter, and time is getting of the essence for LSU. The score is Miami 21, LSU 6. Back in a minute. the negative way for LSU getting a little tipsy here from the goal line the run out did LSU has been playing second and third stringers no the Tigers have been out there with their number one unit Martin 
stepping over people comes out to about the 20 yard line. That's the biggest lead in the game by the Redskins. Hudson. Timing pattern. Can't get it away. He's down at the 14 yard line. Well behind the line of scrimmage on that. But it sets the Tigers back with third and long yardage in another one of those difficult plays. Third and about seven and a half. Hudson. The throw has John Bautista out there, and he can't hold the ball. And so drop off the line, and the flag is thrown as the kick by DeFrank comes up to the 41-yard line. Jack Arthur out of bounds at about the 48. Tom Graham is the up back, and George Swarn has been pretty well contained in the game, is the tailback. But he has the ball here. Not going anywhere. No game. And it's shown some real cracks in this game. Second and ten. Fumble. Scramble for the ball. It appears that Morris still has possession. Third down and about 11. Morris, no doubt, will go to the air. He's been doing it consistently during the game. But hands off this time. Warren can't go anywhere on a draw play. The Miami 42. The Tigers come hard, but don't block. End over ender by Jefferson. Let's it bounce, takes it at the 20. No gain on the return. He can pull the game out. The Tigers are down by 15 points. Think of what that means as compared to 12. Pitch out. Harvey Williams wades up to the 24. at the 30. Brown Gretna. Mickey Gidry is in there to run the ball club. First down and 10 at his 30. Williams. If he gets out there, he's gone. Goslin picks up about five. Gidry running for his life has a first down to the 47 and he'll get a big cheer here. Let's listen to it. First down, the Tigers now from their 47. Gidry still wants to go to the air. Has McGee his first reception of the year. Here he goes. First down at the 40. That involved Ralph Norwood. And I think a lot of people are glad to see that. Here is uh, Martin. Pull down. 240 to play in the third quarter. Miami ahead 21 to 6. First down at the 27. From last year when he really had earned the backup spot to Jeff Wickersham before he sustained an injury. Now from the Miami 27. Gidry again to the air. Hits a short man. John Baptiste. Just outside the 20. Gidry three for three for 33 yards throwing the football. Pitch out. Here comes a run by Martin. Pulled away at the 17 yard line. First down and 10 from the 16. In enemy territory, the Tigers with it, and Gidry to the air. Open, John Baptiste at the 10, the six yard line. First down, and less than seven to go for a touchdown. Wedge formation, pitch out coming to Harvey Williams. Here he's coming. He's going to be hit down at about the line of scrimmage. That play wasn't ready to run. Went along the line of scrimmage. Garland and John Baptiste is the up back, and Harvey Williams is the tailback. Mickey Gidry down under. Sends McGee in motion. There is a touchdown. Close to it, at least. A half yard away as Harvey Williams carry. First down, goal to go from a quarter of a yard away. This is the 13th play of the drive that started back at the LSU 20. McGee moves. Williams has the ball. Touchdown, LSU. The sputtering Tigers have finally broken the ice, and the score is 21 to 12. The Tigers are going for two from the three-yard line. They have to go three yards, and Gidry is back to throw. Pass is blocked. The pass is blocked, and it is no good. We'll be back in a minute. But at any rate, he got six points for the Tigers. 
They failed to convert on the two-point conversion. Now 21 to 12. Arthur from the goal line. Last man got him. He's out of bounds at the Miami 44-yard line. Second down, four at the 50-yard line. Schillinger in motion. And Graham with the ball. Gets about a half yard. Bottled up by. We're in the fourth quarter. The Tigers are down by nine. Morris to pass. Incomplete. Broken up by Marlboro. Doug Colasar punts. Jefferson is going to come up. Fair catch signal given at the 16-yard line. Unexpected trouble out of a, a team that was not expected to be in the game. Well, one thing we can say is that win or lose, the players will come down to earth somewhat. But Harvey Williams out of bounds with the ball at the 24. Favored to win by game many points. Here's Williams again. May have a first down. And the Tigers are still down by nine, and they're 13 minutes away from the end of the game. Ronnie Halliburton, number 89, is the wing back on the right. Gidry, that's a forward pass. Williams makes something out of it to the 41-yard line. First down, 12.40 to play. The Tigers move from their 41-yard line. There's the same play. That young fellow did a good job of just getting three yards. And McGee is flanked to the left. Gidry cocks his right arm. Intercepted at the 49 in Tiger territory by Pete Mather. Miami has scored after a block punt and after an interception. That's Swarm, tackled by Jackson. Loses yardage. This Tiger defensive team. Uh, Tulane leads Bandy 21 to 10, third quarter score. Here's Swarm. The Tigers are down by nine. That's the I formation. Fake to Swarn. Pass complete at the LSU 44-yard line. And a flag on the plate. Here's the signal on the infraction holding against Miami. Draw play with George Swarn. At about the 36 yard line. Third down. 25 to go. Miami with the ball and a whistle, maybe too much time. Check to see what it is. That's the delay of game signal with third down and 30. Sofa's in the game at wide receiver on the left. Split in. And here's Sofa running the ball on a reverse to throw. Man open, intercepted at the 50 by Pearson. He fumbles, it's recovered by Miami at the Redskins 36. First down, the Redskins at their 36. Tough break for the Tigers again. Another fumble. And here's George Swarn coming this side. Stopped at the 40-yard line. Successfully convert on the third and 25 into a first down by having a pass intercepted. And that's what he did. From the 39, here's Graham being stopped by Brooks. That means a maximum of 25 seconds. Pitch out to George Swan, a sweep, and he's hit out there. First of all, by DeWitt. It's really been uh, responsible for the, all the big points. Colasar's kick wobbles up. Has it. He's down at the 40. 6.56 to play. On the receiving team, on, on the return, it's first down. The, and then you're down to two minutes. The other team has to get the ball. Then you have to stop them, and so on. Here's a play. Pass is blocked. Now, the preliminary play gets underway at 8.30 on Thursday morning, continues through Saturday. There's Harvey Williams breaking up to about the 45-yard line for the first down. The clock will stop, and the new running back is in the game for LSU, and that is Alvin Lee. Here's Mickey Gidry back, and he throws out there. It is to Wendell Davis. He's out of bounds with the ball at 
the 40-yard line. He's going to have to make those possession catches right now with only six and a half minutes remaining in the game. From the Redskin 40, Gidry again goes back to Kaka's mighty right arm. He shoots, it is complete, and that is Lee at the 35, ahead to the 30. First down and 10 yards to go. Now from the Redskin 30, the Tigers battling to save the game. Gidry is back to throw. He shoots to the short man, Davis again. About six or seven yards on this one. And plus 82 on the long pass play. So only one play has been outstanding for Miami in this half. Bumbo and a recovery by Miami at the Redskin 24. Bumbo on the snap. had uh, 80 yards on another drive, one of which ended up in a score, and 50 yards in a drive, and then fumbled. Here's Swarn to the side. Look out. He's got a first down, and that'll stop the clock and give new lives to the Redskins. Miami's made a few mistakes themselves, but they haven't made nearly as many, and they have become believers in their ability. They've played a fine game. Warren to the side, breaking away, and Mickey Hazard has him and pulls him down at about the 43-yard line. Second down, five play, and another long count, of course. Excruciating for the Tigers. Fumble, John Ball. LSU has the ball inside the 45. So there's the break that the Tigers need. Needs more than that. Gidry has the ball to throw, of course. He's going to be sacked, won't get it away. That'll take a lot of time for LSU, that is. Gidry back to throw, running to the right, and is going to be hit from behind. Fumbo, the ball is Miami's at midfield. Gidry was hit from behind, and Bob gets. They have negated the problems they've caused themselves. LSU has given away gifts all night. The give credit to the Redskins. George Warren running wide to the right, and he's hit behind the line. And even though there's only been one play of any consequence offensively for the Redskins in the second half, that was an 82-yard pass play. Morris hit down, slowed by Sancho behind the line, and tackled by Barbe. A run by George Swarn up the middle on third down at about 15. And they come against Colasar, and he gets the kick away and end over ender to Jefferson at the 15. Long way to go. He's down at the 18. And Miami is held on in the second half and just out Fergaboo's the Tigers. Here's Hodson being sacked as he gets the pass away, and he grounded, I think. And then that penalty is stepped off. He does. That penalty stepped off from where the quarterback was stopped. Really, the other side of uh, major college football. Hodson, the quarterback, throws to a uh, receiver on his knees. Hodson back at the goal line to throw. Long one coming up. The Salisbury, tough in the air. That's the Hail Mary pass. It's incomplete. You know, I don't think they're going to try to run the score up, but they're going to sure try to score. Here's the pass by Hudson. Intercepted? Yes. Why did he do that? I don't know. At the LSU 48-yard line. Intercepted. And still, the Tigers have a good team, but they've had an off night tonight. And Morris is going to drop to a knee, and they're... Those people can't stand it. They're so excited. And here's Morris again down, and that's going to do it. We have 19 seconds left in the game. The clock is going to run out. Miami, a 19-point underdog, has upset LSU and beat the Tigers convincingly by nine points in a home game for the LSU Tigers. The final count is 21 to 12. What a night for Miami of Ohio. And what a disappointing night for the LSU Tigers. Well, the band plays and keeps up the spirit. And we'll be back to summarize as best we can the Tiger loss. The final count, 21-12 Miami over the Tigers. We'll be back in just a minute.